the fertilizers to waste a lot of runoff, and uh, we've seen in the past, in the past decade, a little bit of a downturn on the kelp forest due to these uh, runoff that the rain, uh, what we put down our drains, not biodegradable products, uh, and a lot of coastal cities have kind of risen to the moment and started doing a kelp reforestation project, uh, and really have kind of changed that around here. Uh, it's got to be very exciting, and to be able to be in here with such large, um, magnificent animals, it's really got to be a thrill for you guys. I really have an idea of you guys. Well, of course, now we've talked about the uh, different tasks and the shorts and the ball. Very curious. Now, you'll notice that we call them zebra sharks. They don't have stripes. When they are juveniles, they actually do have stripes. And as they mature, it turns into more of a spot. Kind of markings. But here in California, we already have a shark called a liver shark. And so, but they're called zebra sharks here. I think in Australia, they even call them liver sharks. Well, they, again, I, I just am so fascinated by the looks of them. And of course, you know, we talk about them in almost a very affectionate way because we, we, we have no fear of them and all we do is respect them for what they are and what they can be. But uh, also, oh, too many times, sharks and rays, for that matter, have been given a really kind of a bad rap, and it's all from movies and things like that. Isn't it? That's right. We're very, very isolated, odd situations that are not the norm. They're, um, for the most part, in the water or even on the land for that matter and you encounter an animal that you don't know anything about. The best thing